If you could pick any three starter Pokemon to be in Legends ZA, what would you choose? Because today we're going to try to find out the most likely answers. I think one of the coolest ideas for a starter trio in a Pokemon game would be a trio that eventually evolved to become Fairy, Steel and Dragon types. I should also say, for most of this video we're going to be barring Gen 1, Gen 3, Gen 6 and Gen 9 starter Pokemon. Gen 1 and 3 already have Mega Evolutions, Gen 6 could easily just appear by themselves and Gen 9 are already started in Generation 9. I don't think they'd want to double up like that. So a grass type that could evolve into a fairy, steel or dragon type. Should I say the obvious one? Everyone really wants Chikorita to be Grass Fairy. Oh, of course, how did I miss Snivy? Snivy could easily be a Dragon type. And Turtwig could be a Steel type. I need to settle on one of these. You know what? I'm, I'm actually gonna go for a Curveball. I'm gonna settle on Snivy, Grass, Steel. I've talked more about this in, in another video, but I believe Snivy was inspired by a manga or anime character that was like a French knight or something. We could get a cool Knight Snivy. Snite V, fire type that could be dragon or fairy. Wait, can I go back and change my answer? What if we did grass dragon Snivy and fire steel score bunny? Score bunny is very humanoid, it's very lively. I could see it being some sort of knight. And of course, Snivy is already very dragon like once it evolves into Serperia. I'm pretty sure that can solidify Snivy's spot in S tier. Also, if you've made it this far, you should really consider subscribing. You know what? If you subscribe, I'll put your favorite starter Pokemon in S tier. Just kidding. I won't do that. But you should subscribe anyway. You will not regret it. So, a water type that could also be a fairy type. I guess we have to exclude Poplio here. Okay, okay, new, new concept. What if we get Sobble, Water Dragon type? It's already based on a lizard. We could see a more reptilian version of it that's more dragon inspired, because let's be honest, Inteleon sucks so badly. So if Water Dragon, we need a fire type. I'd like to see another fire steel type. I, I think Heatran's the only fire steel type. Tepig, maybe? It's a very big and bulky Pokemon. I, I think it, it, it would benefit from the steel typing. It could very easily just be wearing armor. Although, of course, there are like a thousand things you can do with a, with a, with a type like that. Oh crap, are we left with Water Fairy again? No, 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 we're left, we're left with Grass Fairy. Okay, I think we have Chikorita, Turtwig, or Rowl. We can't do Rowlet. It's Chikorita or Turtwig. I want to say Turtwig just because I really freaking love Turtwig. I just said freaking. That was so embarrassing. I didn't mean to say that. I really, really like Turtwig. I bet someone's already made like fan art of this, actually. Like a Sakura Blossom Torterra. Yeah, it, it, it's been done a million times. I'm sure you could push it a step further. I'm sure Game Freak could push it a step further, make it a really, really unique and interesting design. Honestly, there's so much they can do with Sobble, I wouldn't mind putting it in S tier for now. Tepig though, maybe B tier? I love Tepig, don't get me wrong. Turtwig can go in A. So what was our final list? Water Dragon Sobble, Fire Steel Tepig, and Grass Fairy Turtwig. Okay, okay, this second one, it, it, it's a lot stronger of a concept. I was considering, I made another video talking about these starter Pokemon, and the, the one thing that came up a lot was, like, I, I was considering a link between the, all three of the starter Pokemon being that they're all performers. The main chunk of that video was talking about Poplio and how, you know, it sings opera, you know. So if we're looking at other Pokemon that are performers, uh, Grookey is obviously a, a very good shout. A fire type Pokemon. My strongest idea was Litten, but it's in the same generation as Poplio. We need a fire type that could be a performer. Foycoco would be great if it wasn't Gen 9. Fennekin would be great if it wasn't Gen 6. I was thinking maybe Chimchar. It's a very, I, I suppose, animated starter Pokemon. It could easily be turned into some sort of performer. Make it a dancer. Make, make, oh, what's this final evolution called? Make it Infernape a, a dancer. I mean, I'm, I'm sure it's clear by this point, but I'm putting Poplio in S tier. I've got, a, I've got a whole video talking about how great it would be in Legend ZA. Grookey, I, I, I hate to keep filling S tier, but I think Grookey would be great. And Chimchar. Uh, I think A, I think, I think A tier is a, is a suitable spot for it to sit. I might, I might reshuffle these around near the end of the video. Don't get too sad if, if your favorite Pokemon's in C tier. So we have a singer, a musician, and a dancer, but what would their what would their final types be? This is a stupid choice, probably not gonna go with it, but as you could do water normal for Poplio, because that would give it uh, a boost to its hyper voice. So you could you could consider water normal. Maybe water poison? I'd love to see that. That's a really cool um, type combination. Going down that route, you could do grass steel. Really, really reinforce the drums. Or turn it into a guitar rest. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, grass steel guitarist groupie. I suppose let's let's not go for guitarist because this is like I don't think that fits the theme at all. But what about like some sort of string and instrument, like a harp, but not exactly a harp. You could go for Grass Fairy because, you know, like I suppose it has very enchanting, it's very enchanting music. Chimchar, the dancer. Oh, I was gonna say fighting, but that's it. That's its original type. I was thinking Fire Dark because it, it, it kind of fits in the theme with Poison and Fairy. You know what? Make it a Fire Dark type. Make this Incineroar part two. Oh, another fun fact about the Kalos starter Pokemon. It's, it's heavily theorized that they take inspiration from roles in RPGs. I've always seen Chestnut as like a tank, but you know, it's second evolution Quilladin has Paladin in it. And I, I suppose you could see it as more of a knight. Of course, Paladins are worship some form of like deity or something, I think. So I suppose it, it would be more of a knight. Stealth Fox is the major wizard and Greninja is, you know, the ninja or the rogue. So what if we added even more of these RPG roles to the new starter Pokemon in Legends ZA? This is actually the concept that inspired this video idea, specifically the idea of a fire and fairy type Litten. I don't know if like wrestling or any, anything similar has ever been big in France, but I like the idea of, of the fairy type relating somewhat to the moon because of course there's moon blast and moonlight both fairy type moves what if this is some form of incineral but in the same way that a paladin would uh, worship some sort of deity that what if this incineral worships the moon and that's how it got its fairy typing listen i just really want a new in, uh, incineral form because I feel like that would really mess some competitive players up. Or of course, a healer. Would it be too cliche to say Chikorita? It would be nice to see like a properly bulky Meganium that can really support its teammates and just be a general nuisance. The voices, the voices are telling me to put Chikorita in S tier, but I think we're filling S tier up a bit too quickly. No, it's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll do some reshuffling at the end. Okay, so if we have Fire Fairy Litten, how would we make Chikorita a defensive healer? Psychic? You could do Grass Psychic. But that makes it really flimsy. It's, it's double weak to Bug, it's weak to Dark, it's weak to Ghost, it's weak to Fire and Flying. Grass Dragon? Are we just going to go with Grass Dragon for every single one of these? What is Chikorita based on? It's kind of just like a thing. It's kind of just like a creature, you know what I mean? Chikorita appears to be based on sauropods. Sauropods. Are we talking reptiles? Ah, we're talking dinosaurs. Oh, if we're talking dinosaurs, then the dragon type works perfectly. Okay, but now we've got Fire Fairy and gr Grass Dragon. We we've kind of gone back to the first part, the Fairy Steel and Dragon Core. But let's let's see where this goes. Let's see where this goes. Oh, that's the other idea I had for this. Of course, you usually get like a Ranger or an Archer. The obvious choice would be Rowlet, but of course that was in Legends Arceus. What if there was more medieval Sobble? Yes, I am aware this is the second time I've gone for Sobble, but what if there was a more medieval Sobble? I'm not saying necessarily it has to be an archer, but it, you know, you could use like cannons inspired from the 1500s, I think was when they started being used. Uh, you could give it a crossbow, you could give it like a flintlock or a matchlock. There are some really cool things I think you could do with Sobble. Should we just say Water Ghost? Because that's the type it should have had. Oh, but, but then that's way too similar to Decidueye. Oh, you know what? Water Electric. Have it, you know, somehow be related to like a, 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 a surge in technology. And boom, there are your three RPG characters. We've got a Fire Fairy Litten, which is a paladin. A grass and dragon chikorita, which is a healer, and a water and electric inteleon that is an archer or a ranger. Another really interesting idea I had. I think we have to go back to Twitter for this one. Pokemon tweeted this a, a while ago. They were doing the whole water type month thing, and they had a seven star Embor terror raid, and they said Embor for water type month. And I know they don't tease things like this on Twitter, but I was just like imagining. I was spitballing. I was theory crafting. What if? For Pokemon Legends ZA, we got a, an, a, a regional variant of Embor that was a fire and water type. And th this would be a great way to give recognition to these, these type combinations, which don't get used very often at all. I was thinking specifically water and grass, which has only been used twice with Ludicolo and Ogapon Wellspring. Water fire, which has only ever been used with Volcanion 
and the Grass and Fire type, which has only ever been used with Scovillain and Ogapon Half Flame. So what's a, a poke what's a water type starter Pokemon that could easily evolve into a grass type? I suppose you could see like a Totodile that has some sort of link to like moss and algae or seaweed or something. I think to to I you could you could justify A tier Totodile. But I'm gonna put it in B tier. Okay, so water grass Totodile. Fire, water, tepig, and finally a grass and fire type. Well, Grookey's music is literally fire. Sorry, that was cringe. So it's between Grookey or Turtwig, and I, 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 I did consider it for a second, but I think we really bleak if there was like a Torterra that was based off of the concept of a forest fire. I think maybe that is a bit too bleak. For a, for a Pokemon game. M maybe maybe Rillaboom would work well. I mean, you know, like Pyrotechnics, it's a performer. We've talked about Grookey a lot already, but I, I, I think the fire type could work well for it. Of course, Grass and Fire is a, a wonderful defensive type combination. Ogapon Half Flame is so good. I think this trio could make such an interesting uh, dynamic in Legend ZA. What, what are the starter Pokemon we haven't talked about? I think Piplup flew under the radar, but that's just because I really do not like the idea of Piplup being in Legend ZA. We've talked about Snivy and Tepig, and Lithan and Poplio, and Grookey Scorpio. I think we've talked about all of them apart from Piplup. Let's throw another one in there, Zygarde. I feel like elaborating on that, but maybe I'll leave that for another video. So if you want to see that, if you want to see how Zygarde could be a starter Pokemon in Legend ZA, you should really subscribe. And if you don't want to see that, you should subscribe as well. Tr uh, you won't regret it, trust me. If you're like me and you're wondering where the next Pokemon Legend ZA trailer is, I actually made a video talking about it when I think it, uh, it's most likely to drop. It's on screen right now, you can click it, it'll take you there, you'll learn so much. 